John Coleman, the founder of the Weather Channel, recently went on Fox News and spoke about how he thinks climate change is a liberal hoax. So naturally, CNN invited him on afterwards to give another platform to his lunacy. Thank you for being here. It's nice to be on CNN. Hello to all your viewers. I resent you calling me a denier. That is a, a word meant to put me down. I'm a skeptic about climate change, and I want to make it darn clear, Mr. Kenny's not a scientist. I am. He's the CEO of the Weather Channel now. I was the founder of the Weather Channel, not the co-founder. And I'm glad you did, because I am addicted to the Weather Channel. I watch a lot I'm of cable news. I'm talking now. Hold on just well, a minute. I'm not done. And CNN has taken a very strong position on global warming that is that it is a consensus. Well, there is no consensus in science. Science isn't a vote. Science is about facts. And if you get down to the hard, cold facts, uh, there's no question about it. Climate change is not happening. There is no significant man-made global warming now. There hasn't been any in the past, and there's no reason to expect any in the future. There's a whole lot of baloney. And uh, yes, it is. it has become a big political point of the Democratic Party and part of their platform. And I regret it's become political instead of scientific. But the science is on my side. I don't think we're going to come to a conclusion about the topic right here. What I do wonder, well, I know though, is when not, you see... Because you the... wouldn't allow it to happen on CNN. But I'm happy well, that we, I got on the air and got a chance to talk to your, uh, to your viewers. Hello, everybody. What there I do, is no global warming. What I do wonder is when you see the government, when you see NASA, when you see other institutions say that 97% of climate scientists agree... Do you think they're making it up? I, I, what I don't understand is how you well, square that. Well, that's a manipulated that. figure, and let me explain it to you. Uh, this, the uh, government puts out about $2.5 billion directly for climate research every year. It only gives that money to scientists who will produce scientific results that support the global warming hypothesis of the Democrat Party or position. So they don't have any choice. If you're going to get the money, you've got to support their position. He has this situation 100% backwards. His argument is, these goddamn greedy government scientists, that's where this conspiracy, that's where this hoax, that's where this liberal plot is coming from. Those goddamn scientists who are money-hungry and they just want to get more government contracts so they say what the Democrats want them to say when the Democrats say there's global warming. Now, what's the reality? I actually have some personal knowledge into this because one of my first cousins was a government scientist. He's no longer in the U.S. He went overseas. But when he was a government scientist and he had to get contracts from the U.S. government for his research, which had nothing to do with the climate, by the way. But what we learned from what he did is these uh, government contracts that the scientists get, they are so insanely bare bones cheap he was making like 30 grand a year yeah so greedy getting that 30 grand a year to do research that takes hours and hours and months and years that nobody else wants to fucking do and you're in a cramped lab with no ac trying to figure out exactly how to get a certain equation to work i mean this is it's exactly backwards because where's the real conspiracy? What's more likely, that the scientists are greedy and they're trying to get these, um, these government contracts or that ExxonMobil and Chevron and BP and the fossil fuel companies fund their own scientists who then they come back from the Heartland Institute, for instance, and they say, oh, yeah, it doesn't, we don't know if there's global warming. It looks like there's not global warming. And don't look at the fact that I just took all my money from for-profit fossil fuel corporations. That's where the real conspiracy is. It's because there's a direct financial responsibility for the oil companies, the fracking companies, the natural gas companies, the fossil fuel companies, for them to say there is no global warming. Because that's the only way they keep making money. If you don't crack down on fossil fuels, they keep making money. If you do, then we transition over to green technology, to thorium, to wind, to uh, solar, to renewable energies. And they don't want that to happen. So what do they do? All they need to do is raise doubt. That's all they need to do. So find a couple of uh, scientists who are willing to be bought off have them do research and studies, which, by the way, they're not fucking peer-reviewed, which is the gigantic red flag that they're full of shit, and 
that's where their side comes from. So their side is the one with the actual conspiracy because there's money behind it and people get very, very rich off oil and gas, which is obviously fueling global warming. So he has it exactly backwards. And then let me also add this. When he says, uh, it, the, the other guy, so the head of the Weather Channel now, who came out and refuted this jackass, he goes, that guy, he's not a scientist. I am. No, you're not. See, this guy, apparently, he's just a serial liar. He can't help himself. Don't take my word for it. Look it up. John Coleman, the founder of uh, Weather Channel. You know what he has a degree in? Journalism. Which is ironic, also, might I add. He has a degree in journalism, and he was a weatherman. You're not a fucking scientist. What the fuck are you talking about? And this is something that's easily verifiable. How stupid are you? Do you think people don't have Google anymore? Are you that old and dumb that you think people have to go to a fucking public library or look through your personal records in order to get information about you? No, I'm done with this guy and I'm done with CNN. CNN, you're fucking pathetic, okay? When we're talking about the responsibility of a news agency and uh, the press, you need to give the facts. You need to give the information. And you invite this guy on to show a fake debate. And the irony of this all is that throughout this long debate, it goes on for about nine minutes, you have Stelter, who's doing the interview there. He's like, uh, you know, I don't normally like to discuss climate change because I don't think there's two equal sides. I think it's clear that it's happening, but let's go on and have that debate anyway. And he, he even says at one point, the media sets it up like a 50-50. It's not a 50-50 when it comes to climate change. But then he goes on to have the 50-50 debate and have the 50-50 discussion, and this old ass jack runs roughshod over him. No, CNN, how dare you invite this guy on? How dare you invite on, at this point, any climate science denier? Because in, clothing, in closing, take a look at this chart. How many times have we showed you this pie chart? This is all of the climate studies done for decades, okay? And what's the reality? What do you see there? What is it? Over 13,000 studies. Uh, these are all of the peer-reviewed review, studies, mind you. And what does it say? Uh, about 99.9% .9 of the climate change research says it's man-made and it's a fucking problem and we need to act on it ASAP. That tiny little sliver of red that you see there. That's all there there is. Those are all the studies that say, I think it's 24 that say, no, this uh, climate change isn't happening or it's not man-made. So that's as close, he says there's no such thing as scientific consensus. No, no, no. Yes, it is. And there it is right there. And that's as, that's as sure as you're ever going to get about anything ever.